Now we have a graphical signal, so we have to find the Laplace transform of the gate function as shown in the figure. This gate function has an amplitude 10 and it is from 2 to 3 seconds. So let's see how to proceed. We can represent this gate function by a unit function, two unit functions, one with an amplitude 10, u t minus 2, this t minus 2 means it is shifted by 2 seconds, so after 2 seconds it is starting, that is why we write it u t minus 2, and from this, this is going to infinity, so to get, uh, to get uh, only this portion that we have to subtract all the remaining part, so from 3 we are subtracting the same amplitude, so 10, so it is, uh, and since it is in the negative direction, so it will be minus 10, and it is starting from t is equal to 3, so u t minus 2, and so, so this is negative 10, if you add the 2, it will become just this uh, gate function. So now since they are in the form of u and shifted, we can uh, find their Laplace transform. So mathematically we define the gate function as 10 u t minus 2 minus u t minus 3, 10 common. And now we are using the shifting property. So if a function is shifted by a, and the unit function is also shifted by a, then its Laplace transform will be e raised to the power minus a s and the Laplace of the function. So the Laplace of the function u t is 1 over s and now we have to take care of the shifting so it will be e raised to the power. So 10 comes out because of the shifting e raised to the power minus 2s minus a s, so it will be minus 2s because this is shifted by 2 and the function itself is 1 over s. Similarly, in the second case it is minus e raised to the power minus 3s because it is shifted by 3 1 over s and so simplifying or taking care Okay, <coughs> this question can be done by another way. Uh, if we take uh, differential or differentiate the gate function, we'll get two impulses. One is the positive going impulse uh, with the amplitude 10, another is the negative going impulse with the amplitude negative uh, 10. So GT can be written as 10 uh, delta t minus 2, this function, minus 10 delta t minus 3. Now if you take the Laplace transform of all the three, so, uh, from this formula uh, we get um, f dash t Laplace transform is s of x, so g dash t Laplace transform will be s g s, and similarly uh, the uh, shifted delta by this formula, it will be e raised to the power minus a s f s, since the f s for delta is 1, so it is only e raised to the power minus 2 s, and in this case it will be e raised to the power minus 3 s with uh, multiplied by 10, and so if we bring s in the other side, so g s will be as given here. So it is the same answer that we got in the previous example. Another a diagram, it looks slightly difficult, but if you uh, follow the derivative technique, it will become easier. So we differentiate, uh, now this is HT function, so differentiate at this point will be an impulse of amplitude 10 this is going down, so an impulse, impulse of going down, and further going down, so the impulse of uh, magnitude 5 going down. So this is uh, the differential uh, 
function and now we'll follow the exactly same technique that we did so we write h dash t and then uh, we take laplace of all so this laplace will be shs this will be 10 because laplace of del delta t is 1 and similarly as in the previous example this will be e raised to the power minus 40 and this will be e raised to the power minus 80 i forgot to write 5 so there will be 5 here and a 5 here and now <coughs> if we take common 5 then 2 remains here so this is 2 this is e raised to the power minus 4s minus e raised to the power minus 8s and s divides s is divided uh, to 5 so this is the answer